Hello everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of The Plight of Princes. It's been a while, but we're back. Where last our group of miscreants left off, they were leaving, having been sent all the way to the furthest north part of Faerun. They encountered a ancient entity, a form of primordial being that had one of the spires of Lakith jammed in its eye socket just above it. They managed to waylay the beast and reclaim this as well as enter its lair discovering several unique and powerful artifacts. Well, one very, very powerful artifact, you fuckers. As well as having contemplations about the role of everyone and were the people who raided us, attacked us, and stole high members of our royalty the bad guys or not? After which, they decided to leave this cave and make their way back southward, having been temporarily waylaid by inqu inquiries from a group that they later realized would be Gitzerai, who one of which gave a name to and identified the party, having asked that name, and was given them by them. After this time, there were attempts of message sendings and scryings, as well as deductions based on certain members of the party holding the spires of Lakith and what foresight they received. After which, the person who attempted to use the sending spell found their mind lacking for a considerable period and a very astute suggestion to not attempt or repeat that. With that in mind, they're making their way as they came towards the river city called Karhold, a small, primarily orcish settlement, but the 11th of the 10 towns and smoke rising from within the city. What do you guys do as you make your way towards it? You can see it maybe 500 feet away from you now. Smoke is re rising above it. As you make your way on your cart. Um, how far away are we from? Gates? From the from the gates on this side, you're about five hundred um, foot away. Okay. That's all we can do is continue. Can we see any you figures? Speed up. Does, does it look like the, there's like a siege or some kind of creature attacking? Mm. Make uh, well from the cart from its perspective, from this far away, probably not going to be able to see much, but you can make a perception check if you'd like. Go ahead. Seventeen. Okay, flying a little bit above the cart, you're looking out over the way, and even from now you can hear the sounds of conflict and combat. Whilst you do not see one source, you do hear a very high-pitched sound, like an arcane energy that is just being amassed out and blasted as the conflict is going, and you can just see another plume of smoke briefly rises before fading again from the distance from you. There's fighting going on and somebody's using strong magic. Let's fucking get there fast. I turn invisible. <laughs> As you do, you can even see just this massive club and parts of building and scraping thrown up as the hill giant you remembered being in the city is still in there. Swinging at someone. Uh, I've cast my jammer, by the way. I'll uh, do that thing that you do on the car when you go, yeah! yeah. Make the horses go faster. Mm -hmm. That And I will speed up. Try and get them as fast as we can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over the course of several more minutes, as you're making your way. I cast stop. false life in that time. <laughs> you're just doing the anime thing of false life! Midge, it's Amara, Midge, Midge, Midge. Time for prep spells. 
buff, buff, buff. Prep spells? What are you talking about? Okay. Okay, let's do it. As this is continuing and these effects are happening, um, as you get closer towards the city, you can just hear this big, almost a blast as well, similar to the previous one, but this time it's got a different element to the nature of it in the way that it sounds. It's more like ice scraping out or striking at something. As this is happening and you're making your way, rushing towards it, you can already see there's people on your side who are alert looking out but they're firing in to the town firing into the village a few of them see you remember you from a few days previous and two or three of them already shot are you gonna help or what yeah what are we looking at in there and one of them already begins waving and the drawbridge on your side just starts ogres Got it. And, my, and my darling dears, I would like you all to roll initiative. Hey. Uh, where are we on yeah, the map? Uh, You're on the map. far left. Ah, uh, yes, I've, ne <laughs> I've never what? seen this initiative yeah. table before. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a curse initiative table. Oh, oh, there's a whole map here. I can't see this at all. I zoom out. I need to <laughs> I do zoom the out. same thing. <laughs> So yesterday when we're you showed right, right oh, an encounter, right. you weren't lying. You were preparing no. an encounter. I was indeed preparing an encounter. Oh, there we are. Oh my god, we're so small. Oh, I'm so glad I rolled really well on that. <laughs> I was like, come on, there's going to be no one who rolls lower than some of these lads. I just had eight and nine and nine <laughs> and eight and nine and nine. I still have not rolled yet. <laughs> what you had, you were just invisible. <laughs> hey! Ah. <laughs> Uh, I am not going to be in front of Runa. <laughs> no, Garn goes on your initiative. Excuse okay. me, I did not put him on yet. I had remembered to, and then I forgot to. I was like, I was going to do it, and well, then I actually, did it. Actually, oh yeah, nice. I'm oh, sorry, but the first thing that my brain has said while looking at this map is, oh my god, is that a crater from where that fucking nightmare attacked us? <laughs> Maybe. Oh dear. <laughs> what? What? There's a lot happening on this map. <laughs> There's a, a me-shaped hole in oh, the ground. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Nero, you should have uh, the ability to control Garm and yourself as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Jess, uh, there's still craters around. Okay, so. Uh, has everyone rolled initiative? Yes. I believe so? Yes. Yep. Wow, some of you actually rolled? Rolled more than the ogres and the bandits. Okay, and uh, has uh, Serenus rolled? Oh yeah, yes, he has. He's he just... has. He's yeah, there. Yola. I see. I see. So then, I'm sorry. Okay, we do have someone going before them. Excellent. Uh, Posey, you are <laughs> oh, no. invisible. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> In a stunning turn of events, I am invisible. What? What can I even see? <laughs> what am I even looking at? So, from your perspective, as you're coming in, still on the back of the cart, you didn't specify mm. you're getting off. No. You can see. A large designed cannon with this kind of plating around the actual barrel aimed outward that's in this anchored position and there are dwarves around it that are aiming it and trying to fire it but you've only seen a vague few of these in the last few years and when you have they've been on heavy castle emplacements this is a single one that looks like it was very hastily set up here and it doesn't look like it's got any barrels or um, cannonballs or anything left around the sides of it. What you do see is there are several dwarves that seem to be either trying to man it or anchor it or aim it or control it. And there's one dwarf who's got this heavy um, plated brass and copper kind of armor design to everything on them and this helmet that has these um, very, very distinct designs and these horns that are coming up almost like two points on a bull that has had the tip of its horn cut off and these very w refined magnifying glasses on the front. He's got this um, large barreled design that's strapped onto the side of his back, but in his hand he's got this big heavy, um, it looks like it's meant to be some form of mace or maybe it's a wrench, but he's currently just trying to wail into the side of an ogre that's gotten too close to his setup. Um, 
you can see from a top of one of the buildings aiming down there is an, an a thin lit elven woman who's uh, got all these more or less like if you were to see like a commissar in regards to how many badges they have across their chest but all these different like metallic or cogwork designs on it aiming down with a pistol and firing you can see the hill giant on its knees right now with a rope around its neck as an ogre is just pulling down with all its weight like almost hanging down off of it as there's a berserker and some people just hacking into the sides of it bringing it down there is chaos everywhere yeah i'm getting that vibe uh well i don't also i will say for the sake out of, of character i don't know who is friend and who is foe on this map so <laughs> it's this, this one this one is it also, I will show you this to give you an idea, as this guy is right next to the cannon, so you can definitely see this. Oh, they're awful. <laughs> oh, yes, they no. are. Horsey, no! Fuck that horsey. <laughs> okay, so I can see that, like, this is the big area of conflict, and these things are, seem to be what people are looking at. Okay. Yes. Uh. Well... <laughs> Uh, I am going, everything is fine, I am going to, this is, I'm assuming this building that is. That is a building, yes. Intact. <laughs> it is intact, Are yes. these like, can't, like, big boulders that have been thrown? Um, there's one nearby like you, and you can look in, and there is the wreckage of a goblin in there. Ah. What no, had been a hide. goblin, what had been a goblin that probably got launched. Uh, Let's keep this simple. I'm gonna go behind this building. Okay. And da -da -da. I've forgotten how to play my class. Everyone take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will activate my crimson ray because I can. This bonus action, yeah. I think. Yes. Yeah. Trying to remember how things work. As... Don't Wait. forget to roll your right for your HP. Yep. I'll do it in a minute. These are friends? Question I think they're civilians. There are a bunch they're of very civilians. panicked people who are running. Okay, that's fine. Oh god, it's once again that time where I don't remember what the distance is on a heavy crossbow. Uh, I definitely want to down. 120 to 400. 120 to 400. 120 to 400, thank you. And you have sharpshooters, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll, I'll go for the... I'll go for the problem. Okay, you aim at the <laughs> ogre with the howdah. And I will... I will sharpshoot at this. Take a shot. Uh, sharp sharp sharpshoot at this one. Advantage, because you're invisible. That is a hit, and you do have advantage because you are invisible. But once you fire oh. that shot, that shot I thought is that was a rogue thing. Okay, so then you definitely hit. So roll damage. Okay. But now Not you're that. no longer invisible. Oh, oh right. shit, 24 oh. damage on a single bolt. Fucking hell. Max, Max I'm Barry behind well, cover well. now, though, which was important. <laughs> Very important. Um, uh, so. 14? Just hits. Barely. Okay. It's, he's only got, like, bits of scrap and everything. Oh, Jesus. Stop Did I roll the Max the twice? Stop with the Max Banner yes. side. And then you didn't match I'm, the I, 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 None of the, the rest of you one. get. None of max, the rest max. of you get combat. Apparently not. The second one was super max. The first one was just max. Oh yeah, I didn't roll my. Oh yeah, my right damage is on there. Yeah. Jesus Christ! In one turn. Uh, that's a lot of damage. I'm just gonna be like, get in cover, and then that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, pose. You can just see on the back of this. Um, ogre is uh, some goblins that are just like aiming down trying to stab and as they are you fire a bolt that hits one of them and jams the body press the body against the ogre's neck as the bolt goes into the ogre's neck he begins wheezing out in pain and looks towards you and as he does another bolt goes right into his eye and disappears into his skull he is somehow still standing but you heard him and half blinded him I am pressing my back to this wall and I'm looking at the party like I have made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it Thumbs shouts up. out in absolute pain and terror. This <laughs> is just like fuck, 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 
fuck, fuck, fuck, fuck. Now take your crimson damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll roll that. Carry on. <laughs> roll it now. Because loyalty, you're up next. This is what I would like to not roll. Oh, I don't have to whisper these anymore. No, you don't. Yep. Hey! You take, all, you take three points of, cold, of damage to yourself. What do you do, Lil? Right, first things first. Kika, Wittick, you're on deck next. Are the blue background tokens with the red borders the bandits? There's a lot of people with a lot of chaos you don't know. Right. You are aware that this is a city that has a very diverse group of people that live in it. Right. Are they attacking people? <laughs> no. No. Okay. That's the case then. Right. I'm gonna take a dodge action and I'm how much movement do I have? Sorry folks, concentrating. City. I'm gonna yeah. and I'm done. Okay, so you're not going to make any attacks, not going to use any inspiration, you're just going to take the dodge action, disadvantage on anyone who's aiming at you. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to sort the... Into cover. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to say those two have already gone on their turns, because, well, chaos. Uh, Wittick and Kika, you're up next. Kika, do you have a higher dex? I believe so, plus two. Uh, zero. Yes. Okay, so Kika, okay. you get to go first. Uh, does anybody want to go there quicker? Renara, King, Serenus, anyone? I'm quite heavy. King, Serenus? I'm um, okay. Well, I am quite light. Do you want to get closer? Very well. Okay, I will uh, pick up King and fly with her. Okay. And I will take the dash action. How high up do you fly? Only sort of skirting the ground, to be honest. It is literally more of okay. a distance quickly rather than height. Okay. And uh, I will bring both of us down here. Okay. AC, we're 30 out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. As you guys move that away, um, I will say that you're both looking around the fight and as you're a little you're just slightly off the ground a little higher you can see on the far side of all this is happening there's this is chaos you can just see there's an orc that's being lifted up by nothing on the far side of this field like of the far field on on the top right near the hill giant and it's just like grabbing at their throat and you can just see that their neck just kind of crouches in on itself and they just drop dead oh oh that, that, that looks bad so that's my turn. You took your turn to run with the friend. That's my action to dash. Cool, cool. We love to see it. Wittick. Okay, so Garm's going to take the dash action. Arf. And we're going to run 100 feet. Or 100 feet, sorry. <laughs> Next. Next. And... Uh, I'm not in combat, or I'm not close enough to combat. So, bonus action, missing step for the both of us. Ooh. Yep, because anything you cast you yourself, think. you cast your seed. Yep, and so, 30 feet. To where? Uh, let's see. Yeah. You probably end up landing on top of the cannon if you. Misses up between the ogres, just to say. That's fine, yeah. 
And you guys can that attack, I... but your wolf does not. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I see. Uh, two great sword attacks. Swing your first one. The 19 hit? Yeah, 19 definitely hits. Roll for damage. Okay, you guys just watch as Wittick, in almost like this moment where he just hits the ground, a lightning strikes with him, and then just apparates and strikes down in another space nearby as someone's on their switch, and teleports to another location. The great sword out, the great sword's already coming down in an arc as the ogre turns back looking straight into this heavily fattened muscular neck, beheading the ogre. Dropping it down, crushing anything in its howda along with it. That over, it's fucking dead. G good. <laughs> That's a good start. Right, good. <laughs> Thank you for my life, Wittick. <laughs> Wittick's Witt Witt just gonna go. Oh, I have another attack, but I can't move. I uh... expected more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so did I. But then he got smashed in the face. <laughs> You're worthless. Next target. <laughs> all these very terrified, like, people defending this town, all just, like, fighting this massive ogre who's been such an issue for them. Just watch as two bolts go straight into their face, one pinning a goblin to its neck, and then just a man on a, like, a metal man on a metal wolf operates in a bolt of lightning and decapitates it going down, going, worthless. And just that head turns, targeting the next one. We're a weird fucking party, huh? Yeah. Can I, can I, can I roll for intimidation? <laughs> you may roll for intimidation. Yes. <laughs> you're weird, I'm normal. What? <laughs> I'll say your massive wolf gives you advantage. Okay. <laughs> Alright, 15 a bit better. <laughs> that bandit does not want to go anywhere near you. You don't want to come near, but I'm going to come for you. They're, that man is looking as a case of I am not paid enough for this. Okay, uh, so which gonna... band is this? <laughs> Whoever's right. unfortunate enough to be in front of Wittick. Right, this one here. He's probably shitting himself. Okay, so the berserker that's right next to the hill giant is going to proceed to hack out towards him, and it's only yeah that one is there, and ooh the, that one's fighting two hill or two uh, hill dwarfs. So let's see. First, we'll go for him. Great axe strike. Oof. Just watch as one of these um, hill dwarves that's just here, this uh, older rough fella here, he's got kind of just like a shield and just like a hand axe. Raising it up, the hand axe, the shield gets raised to block the great sword coming down, like this massive great axe he's got coming down. It sinks into the shield, into the guy's arm, and the dwarf just shouts out in pain as the guy just pushes the axe down on top of him, keeping the weight on. Meanwhile, the other one is going to swing at the hill giant, who's been more or less grabbed in the neck and is currently being strangled by this massive rope being pulled down by an ogre whilst it's being harried on all sides. Um, the hill giant, you say we, that the one we recognize from before? Yes, he was in here previously, and he's getting the shit beat out of him. Okay, he's looking so, rough. So we know the giant's ally, at least. Yes. But then these berserkers and ogres are swinging him. Anyone attacking probably the dwarves, orcs, and the hill giant might not be a friend. Gotcha. Speaking of the hill giant, this is very unfair. Good sir, I didn't even give you a chance to swing back. Let's fix that. Okay, well, that's fitting. Bottom of the totem pole. Sort by descending. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so the berserkers and the bandits. This bandit is not going to go for you. Well, why do I keep doing that button by accident? God damn it. Is they going to run over here? <laughs> Rather than going for you, thinks it's safer to go and stab the, the massive giant. Because it's more likely to kill right now. Actually, he's not even going to go there. He's going to run back to here, running pack through his enemy allies and enemies. And as he does, he's going to fire out a light crossbow shot at the giant. Actually, no, he's going to get to chew. That's a 22 to hit on you, Wittick. I cast shield. There's this moment where he fires a crossbow bolt and it's going straight for your face and it just... Ding. 
and that guy looks at you, you make direct eye contact with him, and he just goes, nah. <laughs> just turns around. <laughs> I'm and as he tries, motherfucker. And as he tries to run this way, you just watch. There was this the half orc who served with the, the uh, guard here previously. He's fighting this ogre that's right next to him. And as that bandit tries to go past him, you just watch as he's got this billy hook in one arm, like one hand. It's this weird pike equivalent, but it's got a hook towards its end as well as a pike going outward. He just extends that out. And like Shepard's crooking a guy off stage, except the guy's head stays here and the body just rolls further along. It's just got a short sword in the other hand. Just black. Uh, there's him, and these guys on the far side aren't going to go anywhere near them. Instead, are just going to fire light crossbows in. Because why not? They're going to aim at him. Okay, so this guy, this orc that was there in the center who's fighting that uh, ogre right now, he's got this half plate on, and it's just arrows are thankfully hitting the heavier parts of the gear and not making any decent penetration on him. Uh, I think that's the only one that's in. Uh, there's one more, and he's going to stab towards it with a scimitar. And nope, doesn't even get past the blubbery hide of the hill giant. Berserkers, all the berserkers have gone. Ogres. And this is the one thing, everyone here had their turn orders in the same way, so move you up because you're in fisticuffs. The hill giant, or the ogre, is going to swing its club down on this uh, dwarf that's right there next to it, holding that weird mechanical wrench looking tool. So, ogre with a big bomb. Oh, he crits! Fuck! Just smashes down on top of the uh, dwarf. As the dwarf's there with this like, cog equipment on one side, you can just see he raises up his hand, and as he does, like from a spiral point at the center of his wrist, just extends out the small buckler that he raises up and just goes down, covering his head and ducking away. But all the blunt force hits into him at the same time and stuns him, just, just shaking his head as he's getting this massive impact. But that's all that ogre's gonna do to him, but that was fucking 27 points of damage. Oh, nasty. Let's see who's next. Uh, the ogre that's fighting. The captain is gonna swing. Oh, the ogres are doing work. That's another crit. Let's see. This ogre here that's fighting the captain on the far side bashed him down with the club he's got in one hand and the captain's just up against a rock and basically rock and a hard place contact blood spurts out of his mouth and just coughs out in desperation as the ogre's just pulling down on the hill giant his, his entire arm is just wrapped in a rope that's pulling the giant's neck down as those who are going now it's the howdas and let's see these ogres that were at the back are absolutely going to make their way forward let's see And now it is the Goblin Huckers, which is the stupidest fucking item in the game, but I also love it. So, these two are going to fire goblins which have spiked helmets at the hill giant. Oh. <laughs> and other sentences. Okay. <laughs> ah, so, so Wizard of the Coast did weaponize the statement, can I throw the halfling? I see. <laughs> and these ogres love to crit. Okay, thankfully one missed, but... That's another crit on the hill giant. Okay. That hill giant is not looking good. Three crits, damn. This hill giant is getting fucked. But he was already looking rough because he's basically just been bum fucked the entire time you guys have been gone. But the goblin that... Well, fun mechanic about this. Every ten foot the goblin moves, it takes... 10 D or 1d6 points of damage. So he's moved 80 foot, so he's taking 86 points of damage. <laughs> against the giant, but the spike goes in and the other one gets fired off and just misses past the giant. Serenus, after all of them, it's now your turn, sir. Right. A lot happened then. <laughs> you just got to watch like a full circus. <laughs> I basically, I'm picture, I just wheeled, went in together and I just kind of just watched everything go on, just be like, Okay. 
Right. What do you do, sir? Rulers intensify. <laughs> I know. So many rulers. Big map. Very big map. Okay. You guys have asked for big uh, maps I'm in the gonna... past? I like big maps. Oh, yes. I'm not complaining. I like big maps. Right. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move fast, so I'm a bit closer to everything. So, about 30, 30 up to there, ish. I'm not fully under cover, but close enough. Some people might not see you. And then I'm going to uh, cast the old faithful of cold lightning and shock some people to death. Saren is just begin watching, walking forward, and as you do, your feet kind of sink into the earth slightly as you keep making your steps. This is almost like conduit point. Your eyes just begin crackling a little bit as there's just the smoke above you begins spiraling into a cloud and a storm above you. Who are you aiming at? Right, I'm going to aim. And about that, see if I can hit that spot right there so he hits this. The ogre thing. Ogre thing. Yep. <laughs> the ogre. I'm very important. That's literally what my brain is like at the moment. It's like, okay. <laughs> Words. Um, very important you specify that because otherwise you would have hit everything around him. Yeah. And somehow the ogre rolled to succeed Rulers. and he succeeded his deck save. So it only takes 10 <laughs> points of lightning damage. How? How? <laughs> How? Let's see him do it He's again, a minus bitch. two. What the fuck? I'm picturing, oh, I'm picturing these ogres it's just, just like being like... It's just an ogre brigade of just badasses, except that one guy. Just critting, holding giants down, beating up captains, going, fuck your lightning. Christ, this trio. Oh, also, mainly because of uh, the way you had said it, Daz. I honestly thought you were, like, saying there's, like, now layer actions in this area. As he was, like, casting this and he was, like, sinking into the ground, I'm like... Uh, wait a second. The last thing we fucking need, quicksand. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, it's, it's more like... like a case if it becomes a, like a, an earthing rod, more or less. Right, and I, I got that after that. And... It, but it was like, the, as you were talking about it, just like sinking into the ground, like, uh, wait a second. What's that? <laughs> Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I meant like, you know, not even an inch in, but yeah. it's <laughs> wait, no, noticeable. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Jeez. like he was in sand kind of equivalent of, where his feet yeah. kind of go in that little bit, but there's no resistance. Um, yeah, Serenus, like you call down the lightning, but between the mechanical equipment all around it and the fact that this ogre just grabs a nearby dwarf and throws it to take a portion of the impact, reacts fast enough, there's a very unfortunate dwarf that is just <laughs> But the portal lightning that then comes through and hits the ogre is lessened as a result. Damn. But definitely a situation of everyone looks at it and goes, he threw her into that, that's not fair. King. <laughs> Cheating, roll for it like a, like a normal person. <laughs> I'm trying to get his chill kills cheaply, the bastard. I move 30 feet up. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to cast Chill Touch on Ogre just north of the cannon. Okay. That is a... is it? I, I always have such a bad idea, I have to check. That is just a hit for two damage. <laughs> and a turn. Okay. You look forward and go, just extend out the, your... Um, your magical focus that's like just wrapped around your hand and just aim it out and your hand has this glowing ethereal effect but as that effect <sighs> emanates out of your hand and just clings onto the side of the ogre and just like this like just at the tips of the nails as if the fingers are trying to dig in just those five points just begin to rot around the fingertips of it it's just like ouch most creatures would probably feel this as pain ogres with the amount of muscle and fat they have between them and everything else don't seem to notice it I have my good hand. I go get you my good hand. Renara, right it's your turn. What's this voice? Um. The 
gonna move up here. Uh, I'm gonna cast a second level bless on me, Serenus, Posey, and Low. Um, Serenus, Low, Posey, and yourself. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The four of us. You walk forward and go, bless. You just hold the holy symbol to Barona that you have, and you keep around you. And just for that moment, there's that little thrum, that fire crackling in the center of your chest, that thrumming heartbeat of it. And that just radiates outward in just like a brief pulse. And as it does, everyone around you just boom, boom, boom. All of you feel it. Boom, boom, boom in your chest as you move. So you you four are now blessed. That is my turn. Just, just everyone collectively using the same icon. Like, yeah, I, was like, oh. I, was like, which one's I, I changed mine, and you were all like, "That's a good idea." I was like, "Which one?" I was looking at. I was like, "Which one should I use?" And I was so like, now oh. it's the hill giant's turn. The hill giant is going to attempt to straighten himself using a strength check. You should never try to straighten yourself. Be who you, be who you are. Well, the hill giant got that before me. <laughs> well, he straightened his back at the very least with a twenty with a natural twenty oh. on the hill giant. As it just grabs the rope and just like drops down its club using both its hands, pulling itself up and starts roaring. As the ogre is still holding, and the giant just has the rope with the ogre's arm wrapped around it. The ogre just can't get it off of its neck. Lifts it up, bites it out. And it's just now free with the rope. And the ogre's arm is tied and knotted around this thing to keep it a case of it's not going to let go. So the o giant just starts smiling. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah. You now see an ogre, a thing that weighs several tons, being spun like a kitten that won't let go of a fucking towel. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> and then the giant lets go. You guys just hear. <laughs> as the hill giant with its malevolent intent throws the ogre. Just, you've never seen an ogre. Have you ever seen that uh, video? I think it's of like a cat or an otter or something that's got near a gorilla. The gorilla just fucking yeets the bitch. <laughs> just that of just, oh, that thing is stupidly strong and you went flying. Goodbye. Farewell. Oh, so long. Farewell. Oh, <laughs> oh, Peter, say good night. And twenty-eight points of bludgeoning damage as he hits the fucking side of the riverbed. Adieu. Adieu. To that to you. Ogre and you. And you. But that is going to be the huge giant's turn as it stands back up and just bellows out at the humans left around it. Just, it's not even got its club anymore in its hands, but it looks like it's ready to just fucking go on a fucking human and just smush him. Okay, top of the initiative. Uh, it's not going to be them, actually. There's another character that gets to go first. Let's see, who who would see this? King, I think you're going to be the only person who really sees this. Maybe Wittick on the back. Uh, you can see that there's a bridge that leads up to the next, um, like to that higher defended point. Um, there is orcs that are at the bottom of that. These two orcs with this like half plate and these great swords out, looking and watching for anything. And you can see at once just a cone of ice magic blasts out at both of them, and they both just like, in that moment, insta perma freeze and just lock up in place as something moves past them and they both shatter off of the sides. Where is this? Here. Yes, right there. I didn't put them on the map because, well, they weren't going to be there for long. I didn't see where you were going, sorry. Uh, where? Yeah, up there. The bridge at the top. Ah. Ah, gotcha. In fact, you can see that there's the elf on top of the, um, roof, the small building that's just, here's the sound turning around and just begins tapping something on the side of her, uh, goggle. And in that moment, there's like, their head tilts back just a little bit and they have this uh, hand pistol out and they're going to take uh, shots at disadvantage but they see something nope hand pistol jams and Jesse used her second attack to fix it so let's make a tinkery check and that's a one her, her hand cannon is fuck Rip. that's her turn 
uh, let's see, the dwarf that's here is going to... You can just see there's a very frustrated, like, grimace on this dwarf that's down here's face as he gets clubbed by it. And it's got most of its gears on this, like, left arm that's covering that the club battered down on top of. You can just see he drops down the cog hammer and just kind of just, like, retracts into itself onto his forearm. And he just lowers his wrist and aims out in the ogre has to make a dexterity saving throw. As the ogre gets burning hands as just a rupture of flame comes out of the, uh wrist of this dwarf. And this time you roll a six, motherfucker, so you're actually getting hit. Okay, just a second. Kiddies, cause he failed his save, so now I get the blasting with burning hand. Ooh, that's nice. 15 points of damage. Minus 15. Posey, it is your turn. Fuck, really? Yeah. Uh, yep. Is the door to this house open? Um, by the side. Oh, sorry, by the side. Renar is that? Uh, no, it is firmly locked. Whoever's okay. in there is uh, not letting fine. anyone in. It was, it was abandoned. I was going to run through it, but that's fine. Well, you activate your ring. There's no cover Shoot between the me and this. I can, she can do it as many it. times yeah. as I want. Your yeah. is great. But it's an action, so no yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess cover's overrated. Oh god, I hate the concept Cold of just going out into the open. But <laughs> This is an XCOM, you're fine, don't worry. I, my brain is in full XCOM, huh? Um, you're prone. I, get I mean, you watch I mean, every Runara ogre turns cover, at her right? and throws javelins <laughs> as Overwatch at her. Don't use your teammates as cover? I, go, I can watch me. <laughs> I, we all disagree with you, Blue. I played Glory for four years. <laughs> it's my turn. Glory and Grunt, am I a joke to you? Uh, I can see that everyone's been attacking this Yeah, person, that, that right? ogre is getting beaten the fuck up. My, my like brain is error 404 on this map. I should make uh, an addendum. <laughs> you can't use your teammate as cover when that teammate is the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna attack it with sharpshooter. Take a shot. Plus D4 because you're blessed. Oh, uh, some that things can be saved. <laughs> Let's try what? that again. Hey! <laughs> there are no other numbers. Posey, you're rushing out and you have this moment of panic as you fire. And then you just see Runara lowers her shoulder a little bit. You aim the crossbow on her shoulder as you reload and fire your second shot. <laughs> this Don't is going to be the disgusting. Damage. As long as the first one doesn't hit me in the back. I've just realized what I should have done. Never mind. Hex. <laughs> yeah, I should have hexed first. I can always do it now. So for the next attack, you'll be able to hex. I will hex now, because it's bonus action. Yes, but the next time you do Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one. damage doesn't apply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... That one. And, I don't know strength. <laughs> sure, athletic checks. It won't matter. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll be honest. I always, whenever I hear about like a b shot not being good enough, I always imagine just like how in Minecraft where you just pull just a little bit. And you, just, <laughs> you didn't quite put it back far enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it falls at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I killed myself doing that once because I'm stupid. <laughs> of course you did, Blue. Of course. Tell so <laughs> so how much okay. damage you just did, Posey. The only answer I can give you is <laughs> hey, blue elite and jump into a giant drill. And that is your turn, Posey? <laughs> she did actually, but yeah, yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh wait, yeah, what's you? I jumped in after you. <laughs> and I followed you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. uh, you know what? Moments. I can't get anywhere from. I have twenty. I could. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna use Renara's cover. <laughs> you're just gonna leave behind, you're gonna leave behind and like this is fine. Taking advantage of my low initiative. And, and then Rune, and then Runara will move and I will panic. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're low initiative, don't worry. Low, it's your turn. Right. What do you do? Um, give me a second. I am determining distances. Um... You have plenty of time to do this when it wasn't your turn. I know! Uh, give me a second. <laughs> um, first things first, 
I am going to uh, move to there. Mm-hmm. I believe it's in 30 feet. Yep. Scoot the boot. Uh, there. Then I'm going to use a bonus action to... Misty step behind that car? Misty step to there. Okay. Shook. And this is going to be um, DM's discretion, but am I able to elder see him? To yeah, there? absolutely. Ha, it's a, it is a large look. creature over a lot of things which are not large. So, yeah, I am going to pew pew. Mm hmm. Bear in mind, you are above level 5 as a character, so you will have a second Eldritch Blast after the first shot. But fire your first shot anyway. That is a hit. Roll that damage. That ogre is fucking dead. Nice. Very nice. Posey looks at ogres. I will prepare you for my friends to kill you. <laughs> I do not get kills myself. I prepare. <laughs> prepare. Uh, I, I lightly kills, season probably. everything. <laughs> You're a dirty enabler. <laughs> I will say you can't see. I don't know what's happening in my head today. Never. Any of the berserkers that are nearby or bandits that I think are still within range of your eldritch blast? Yeah, it's 120 feet range. Yeah, it's 120 feet. Yeah, you can't see past, like, most of the materials here, the garms and everything else between you and them. Well, the the massive dogs, the howdahs, the cannons, it's all in the way. So, that is your turn, because you've moved, you've done your action, and that. Hello! Wittick! <laughs> oh, no, sorry! Kiga has a higher initiative than you. Yes, yeah, she Yes, does. I do. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Flip. Uh, sorry, buddy, I was like, wait, no, don't get excited! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Kika's gonna flutter, kind of do a little flutter hop over these uh, people. Hop, and, a skip, and a, where the fuck did she go? Yeah, a little flutter hop. So while she's in the air and has a little bit of height to see, she's gonna have a little look over over here and is just gonna long distance pew, eld her own Eldritch Blast over at that guy. Take the shot! Pew, pew, it's basically the Star Wars laser fight. <laughs> That just okay, hits, and that, that is a miss. Misses. That is a miss. Okay, so six damage to the yep. ogre. And then I just land back down, so I am next to King on the ground. Okay. Wittick. Things around you have died. That is unfortunate. What do you would like to do? Do you missy step? Nope. Okay, you that just ran. Him running. <laughs> you run, you jump over the shield dwarf that's there holding his shield and axe, looking at all the crazy shit that's happening, going, what the fuck, oh, Jesus! Just over his head, and there's this barbarian who's leaning his axe down into this dwarf behind with this malicious glee, as he can just hear snarling behind his ear as he turns to see you two. I will not specify who of you were snarling. The wolf has an advantage on attack rolls against a creature if one of the wolf's allies is within five feet of the creature. It's not one of the wolf's allies, but it is definitely an enemy of it. Well, actually, yeah, you know, if you were playing a, a Larian Studios game, they would definitely have green around their health bar. So yes, they're definitely allies. Okay. Yes. And then, know. so Garm will bite this man in the ass. <laughs> and bite this man. I mean, <laughs> loud. <laughs> Allow me to specify who I am biting. This boy. Yes. In the ass. Yeah. 16. 16. Does that hit the berserker? It does. Nice. And 10 damage. And he needs to make a DC 13 strength throw. And if he fails it, he is pulled onto the ground. <laughs> Fuck you yeah. watch as he like turns and as he does Garm g leans goes for the throat immediately and Garm's head would just entirely encompass this man's skull he raises up his arm and shoulder to try and protect himself as he does his forearm gets kind of bowed in on itself under the fork and thrown to the ground by your side he is prone and that means advantage for me you're just like looking down at this man on the ground buddy not your day 
with this massive fucking sword. Yeah, it's just like... Yeah, this is how it ends. Sorry. How could this happen to <laughs> me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't ever just process how terrifying Wittick is. <laughs> yeah! I'm just, just like, processing the presence of Wittick on this very chaotic battlefield, and I'm like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> he is terrifying! Uh, that's an 18 yes, to hit. hit. That's 15 damage. Where's that? A 2d6. Oh shit, you just roll fantastically on the dice. Fuck. Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Anything else you're sinking into that? Uh. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll throw a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll throw in a little divine smite. You know. Yeah, you know. Don't, don't <laughs> if let Dash in. Don't, don't let Dash in. Don't divine smite. Shut up, Kate! <laughs> Now you're turn! I got, I got plenty of... It's good. It's good. He's, a, he's got a first level sorcerer, he's got plenty of spell slots. Yeah. Uh, so... That's <laughs> he has the audacity to be a paladin yeah. who can cast shield. He can throw tease him into... <laughs> thing to mine smites into things. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You better right, believe uh, that's exactly what I am doing deliberately. Uh, it's like, use your spell slots. Use your spell slots. Uh, 2d8. 10. 25 points of damage. Fuck you, man. Fucking hell. Is this man still alive? Yes. Oh. Unfortunate. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and while he's on the ground, he's still fighting up against you as it's happening. The 17 hit? Yes, 17 hits. Does 11 kill? Nope. <laughs> Fuck! 11 kill. This is a tough resist, man. Resist! Okay. <laughs> that you is have all the I same do. issue of your sword is meant to do an over angled strike, and you've been stabbing this man into the stomach Fuck with it. Die! Now, it is a wide <laughs> sword. It's not elegant. It's not. This is, this yeah, is a grim scene die. as you are just disemboweling this man while he's on the ground, and he's just desperately trying to grab at your sword, shoving it away or stopping it from going too deep as he is, and you're just digging into him as your wolf's mauling him, and you're already covered in viscera. Oh, I figured whenever I killed the fucking Howden, I, I figured I was covered in this row already. Yeah. Just like, ah, yes. The corpses of goblins being crushed. Mmm. Good for the armor. <laughs> this bandit's going to disengage from the hill giant and try to dash away. But as he tries to dash away, he gets past the captain, whose turn has come and gone, and he gets decapitated. Um, but he disengaged so he doesn't take any attacks opportunity no, this turn. None? Huh. I it's thought it was not... only against a particular target. No, no if he disengages, it's turn. it's for his whole turn. He yeah. doesn't take it. He still it. lives and he runs over here. And these uh, other bandits got... oh, are sen now... Sen these bandits are now all going to go over to here, looking at Wittick and going, Yep. Yep. <laughs> and the three that are here are all going to take shots at you, Wittick. Oh, what? Who's, who's shooting at me? The three... <laughs> Sorry. The three... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, one hits, one's a crit miss, and one misses. So you will take six points of piercing damage as one manages to hit you and fire <laughs> at you. And there's just a separate thing of, oh god, kill it, kill it. Where are you posting what, Curls? I'll put it in group chat. When it, you, you worry about what you're doing, I'll out myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, that bandit's running away. The berserker that's on the ground with you is going to try and swing his great axe. He's going to use his turn to pull himself back up to his feet because he's not grappled. He's only knocked prone. Um, so he pulls himself back up, forcing Garm off. And he's going to swing at you with his great axe. He's looking rough, so he's going to go reckless. <laughs> and that hits, so you take 13 points of damage. He swings the great axe at you, Wittick. Oh, okay. Uh, Winnick's WD-40 is blood. <laughs> Goblin viscera, specifically. It limbers him I up. I was like, I ain't gonna say that out loud, I'll message it directly, and I did more damage. <laughs> <laughs> this other one here is still going to try and fight the hill giant, so he's gonna swing and try to bring him down. And oh, yeah, that hits. Good. It's the one case of... No one. No one. It, it's a case of, like, I see the little one pop-up on my Discord, and I'm like, oh, okay, maybe somebody's wanted to 
asked me about, you know, <laughs> tactics. And I see that, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> that is my, my Discord private message effect in combat. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, let's, let's talk to- oh, okay, no, no, we're not talking. My my true Uno card is thinking that I'm gonna message you about something important, and it's just memes. <laughs> Wittick, you made yep. a name for yourself. So the ogres that are rushing in, they don't care about anyone else. But one of them is going to get jabbed with a billy hook into the side as he gets past him. So he's gonna take billy hook damage. Ooh, got eight points into him. It's just like the hook uh, end comes out and just aims at the gut as the ogre is passing and just like rents across the front as a bit of the stomach's exposed and that tear that's just letting a bit of the guts hang. But they're both swinging at you with clubs because you have just gone, hello, I am big and I am the center of attention. And they do not get flanking. Well, actually, one does because of the berserker. So first swing from the advantage boy. That hits for 14 points of damage. Uh, shield. What's your AC now? Uh, goes from 17... 22. 22, yeah. Still hits. Oh, right. Dang. And, and the other ogre is going to swing, but now you have an AC of 22. This also hits a 20, with a 23. The total damage you will take... Uh, did you take down the damage from the first ogre hit? Uh, no, I did not. Yet. 14 points from him, 7 from the second guy. Okay, and the goblin, the ogres with goblin huckers are going to use their second to last volley, and they can still only see the hill giant. That's a natural one. The mechanism just kind of stops working for a second, and the the goblin that was trying to get up just gets just spiked into the ground in front of him. The second one does hit for 12 points of damage against the hill giant, who is not looking good. Oh boy, that, that hill giant is not loving life. And Serenus, it's your turn, buddy. Right. More stuff. It is, uh, the way I kind of find it so far, because I'm so low on the list, it's like everything happens on the mic. <laughs> now what okay. do I do? <laughs> Can I offer you some lightning in this trying time? <laughs> yeah, the cloud for cool lightning is huge, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it can hit it in a range it's of very strength. big radius. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna move slightly close to this building, so I'm actually like against it. So they should like spank these forwards. Trying to think what the best spot would be. Um, I'm trying to think if I, I think it shouldn't hit anyone if I hit it on that spot, and I think it might just be able it to It would hit the from... ogres, but no one else. It would only hit the two ogres. Yeah, that's uh, that's fine with that, so I'll do core lightning there then. Yeah. Okay, cool you just look there. up and you just aim down and just... <sighs> the lightning just strikes right there. Two deck saves for these boys and roll the damage. Okay, one succeeds again, and the other one doesn't. So that is seven points to this fellow, and 14 to the other. And then, yeah, there's nothing else I can really do, so I'll just end my turn. Okay. Uh, yeah. King. All right, I'll, um, I'll say to my bird ally here, we have some sort of invisible caster coming in from the north. Oh, oh that's not good. <laughs> I move up 30 feet. Okay. I blinked. Where the fuck did you move to on the map? There you are. By okay, the you move next to the cannon. 
I see you. I see you. And that ogre. Yes, the there? one that is just north of Wittick, in front, ahead of Wittick, atop of Wittick, whatever way we want to phrase it. Another chill touch. Nice, and that fucking slaps. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good one. Like a hose actually track. comes up and just. Jesus. Bitch. <laughs> so, anyone here who knows the uh, Kirby meme and prompt of just the across the face. Straight up that. Jesus. Just the hand extends out and it almost elongates to the size of that chill giant's hand and just cracks against the ogre's face. You can see bone and sinew exposed on that side as the necrotic energy has just rotted away a portion of its face as it roars out. Arr! Not love and life. Is that all you do? Uh, yes, because that's all I can do, but I'm going to keep an eye on the north about this invisible spellcaster. Good luck and God bless. Renara, speaking of God's blessing. Right, everything that happened with this spellcaster and this person with a gun happened up north, so I can't see any of that, right? Currently, no. Perfect, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, great, One mood. If I don't see it, it's here. not my problem. <laughs> um, and just to confirm, these guys are all uh, like orcs that are good guys. Sure. Well, they don't seem I'm gonna run no, they're not dash. attacking you, but they're not also fighters. They're all just like, ah! All right, yeah, yeah, I figured they, they, they would have had a combat turn if they were. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna run up to this pack of civilians and just, uh, I'll dash just from over 60 foot. Um, and I'll just, yeah, them all just to get out, just retreat back to the west gate. Play to the west gate! And they run grabbing kids as they go. Yeah, I moved you up. Oh, I did too, but I moved yeah, you up. Yeah, I, I crashed as well. No! All of my fucking open tabs! Uh, I have to open them up again! Yeah. Such a DM <laughs> movie. <laughs> I had 25 character sheets open! I nearly did! That's not hyperbole! I was like, I've loaded back in. Why is the screen black? I was like, oh wait. Same thing. Same exact like, brain process. Wait, I'm at the top corner of the screen. Where is this all black? <laughs> yeah, I'll move myself to where I actually moved to. One brain cell. No one has it. <laughs> it's okay. I have a pot of tea with me on the street. So it's fine. Okay, you've uh, moved there and you've ended your turn. No one can see it, but I've got a pot of tea and milk right there so I can make tea without moving. <laughs> <laughs> he moved his tea making setup so he didn't have to leave combat. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I, feel, I filled up the pot of tea and I was like, right, I'm bringing the milk in the pot here so I can keep refilling my cup okay. at arm's reach. Is that all you do? Um, there's no allies when... <sighs> no, one's when uh, no one seems very rough and isn't within 30 feet for healing. 60 feet for healing word. But no, no, one, no one within range in Egypt, so yeah, that's my turn. Yeah, anyone who needs it is either, like, seemingly somewhat okay, or dead. Wait, did I prep spiritual weapon? I don't know, did you? Question. It'd be handy if you could check. Did not. Did not prep. Okay. That's so, not I have to get up first the Berserker and the Hill Giant, because the Hill Giant's strategy of throwing people away from him has worked so far. So he is going to keep trying it. This bitch is empty. Yeet! <laughs> My hands are empty! Yeet! So, let's see, he's just going to uh, make a strength check to try and grab him. Let's see if the Berserker can succeed. The Berserker succeeds, so he's not grabbed with the first attempt, but he's going to do it with his second hand. That's a 17, so I might grab him, and a third... Nope! <laughs> the two... This exhausted hill giant tries to reach down and grab this berserker, whose hands just grab out at both sides and stop the hill giant's hands from closing in on top of him, like fucking Kratos against um, Kronos, where he's just trying to crush him with his finger. Just the hands try to come down, and he's just like holding out both arms, holding him back. The hill giant's like, oh, stop hurting me! Let's see, she's going to desperately attempt to, re to fix her gun. 12 plus that, so she does succeed. 
And she's going to move up and use her second attack and action search. See, so she can get to here, gets to there, and she's going to take. Let's see, she doesn't have to sharp to her, so. Is it still within her range? It's a great question. We love to see the answer to that fucking thing. I had her name up. She's a named NPC who's in the middle of the fucking pack. I have to scroll down to find her. Where the fuck has she gone? There she Subfolders is. are your friend. Yes, they are, but I keep everyone in one. But also, being, being smart friend. isn't his friend. Yes, Kay, that's why I'm not a friend of you. Hmm. Oh, she hits! <laughs> Disappointed biscuit noise. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so, a shot gets. Icons. Thank you. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, everyone else does. Uh, so she fires out one shot, and it just strikes into something that just spurts out. That's moving. That's up gone up the side of the uh, bridge, up the way to the um, higher point, and she just seems to be shouting out at anything that's nearby her to move their way up towards it. And... There's goblins and goblins on wargs that are just like running around here confused, like this one goblin's just got his fists up, looks like he's trying to punch something but doesn't know where something is, like... Meh, meh. But they have no idea what the fuck they're doing, and she's just trying. No, no, up the. Uh, realizing she's trying to talk to goblins, and she just takes her final shot at him. Oh, nice! She just crits, but does fuck all damage, and that's a twenty on the concentration. So that was uh, nineteen. Okay, that's their turn. The dwarf, now realizing that there is no one directly next to him, puts everything away and just reaches for the rifle that's at his back and just <laughs> takes it out and aims it out towards. As you can just see on his shoulder, it's almost like a shoulder compartment opens up and as it does, a little gun points its way out and like moves his head around briefly before aiming at the berserker next to the hill giant. And he and it are going to take a shot. Just have to get a fuck his character shield now. Fuck! Shit! Ass spells! Titty! There you are. Shot with the steam gun. Miss. Second shot. And then his shot from his turret. All miss. And that's their turns. Posey! These snipers don't know what they're doing. Help! What is happening? Um... <laughs> Posey, take cover behind those civilians. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> There's a moment where Posey hesitates, where she's like, "Should I?" Tell me she wouldn't. <laughs> Tempting. Um, I would Dude, like to my... invoke my right to remain silent. Um, uh, that would be pleading this... a bit. <laughs> Thank you. That's yes. a uh, this is a field. <laughs> Good. Just confirming. Uh, did I? Where is the person? Where? Where? What is happening? Uh... <laughs> Basically, so explain saw, everything that's happening right again. This person, no, it's fine. Moved their I'm way just up, is taking shots. This guy was shooting at the berserker and missing oh, no, with the no, no. steam gun, which wasn't firing bullets, was firing steam, just like highly condensed steam. Uh, they were missing their shots, and uh, you you could tell as they were running. No, no, no! Up the bridge of uh, oh, as if she clearly is talking to something with a low IQ. Yeah, people are going north. The vibe. Okay. Because Widdick's got vibe. it down there. Widdick will be fine. Ah. So. Yeah, Widdick will be fine. <laughs> sure. I'm. Appreciate it. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. Do it for the divine? <laughs> hey. See. The vine aren't here right now, kid. <laughs> I. I'm gonna. Can't do that. That's not a thing my class does. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say bonus action dash. I can't do that yet. No, you didn't uh, multi class yet. Yes, one day, motherfucker. Uh, I'm gonna we dash. Up. Sure. Ah, uh, wait. No, I can still. Uh, can I still think, see things that need to be hit? I can. Ah, uh, no. There are still things People... that need to be hit. 
my party isn't going north and people are saying to go north, so I'm gonna take the initiative, I guess. <laughs> Dash is there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Whoops, not that side. Just like crouch down. <laughs> You have that oh, weird moment in the game where you bug out and you've jumped over the fence before you instantly just lost Yeah, it's like, no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm pressing X to go to the cover, not go over it. <laughs> oh dear. You all know. Um, we all know the vibe. We know the vibe! Then... Bonus action, anything you want to do? You can't move. I can't move. I haven't, can't see anything to move my, my hex too. You can't if see I anything to. to move your hex too, but you can do it. Because you're still concentrating on it, you can still move it. Can I move it? So when you when you see something, turn? you can yeah. move it. Yes. No, yeah, you can move it any time while you're still concentrating. Yes, exactly. Ah, then I will not do that just now, and I will. I see what the fuss is about this way. Okay, you see nothing. You see a bunch of confused wargs and goblins, as if they're trying to look for something, and you just see one exasperated woman in just this long. A heavy like brown trench coat with this mon like this pair of goggles on and she's just like pointing past all of them up the side just going up the bridge it's up the bridge it's going up to the keep okay cool i will stay here and keep my distance then okay hello what do you do i'm presuming i couldn't hear that nah Posey can barely hear it from her position, and she's also looking that way, which helps. Yeah. Oh. You have a lot of everything else drawing your attention. Indeed. I am... Gonna move to... Here. Hi. And as my bonus action, I'm going to activate the uh, mantle. I believe it's the mantle. Yes. The uh, mantle. The mantle. The mantle. Okay. Uh, what is the range? 60 feet. So you can affect yourself, maybe King, and. Kika. So that would be Runara. Kika Runara, could be affected. Kika. Serenus could just be affected. King could be affected. You could affect all. You could affect any three of the. Wait, uh, like, what's your charisma modifier again? Four. Okay, let's see. Choose a number of creatures you can see within range, up to a number equal to your charisma. So you can choose four people. So you can choose all four if you would like. So I would like to pick um, Runara, Serenus, King, and myself. Can I do myself? A number of creatures doesn't specify it can't be you. Okay. And you may now all move your use your reaction to move thirty feet. Um but who's the one that's yelling about going up to the bridge? Uh this chick and I would say you'd be barely able to hear her. Okay. In that case I'm gonna move thirty foot today. Look my reaction. Oh, that's the chick with a gun. Okay. Meanwhile, this guy goes, Hello, I am Steampunk. How are you today? You say she was an elf? She's an elf, yes. Cool. That's the guy that's right by the cannon, right? Yeah. He's Next cool. to his baby. I like him. Someone definitely didn't watch the engineer reveal. The Some thing. motherfucker didn't have this prep before the engineer came out and went, Fuck! Hello, is that all you do? You've uh, moved. I Use your believe, bonus believe... action. You have an action. Um, I believe that I've got that movement as well as a result of the mantle. Yes, you yes. chose yourself as well. You Actually, you can't use your reaction on your turn. Right. So Why I'd not? say you wouldn't be able to do it yourself. Because you can't use your reaction on your turn. 
You'd still get the temp HP though, so it's up to you. You would. Alright. But, uh, Serenus, Renara, and uh, King can all move 30 feet. Renara, you already have. Yeah. That's you may... thrown a little bit of a spanner in the works as to my plan, but that's okay. Because um, I still have an action, I am going to... I'm going to Eldritch Blast this. Blast away at him. Ogre. Um, a reaction is an instant response to a trigger of some kind, which can occur on your turn or on someone else's. Really? There you go. Yep. It's in the player's handbook. I always thought that it was something you couldn't do on your turn. That's probably because people uh, kept using Counterspell just, on their turn. I, I think it's because they, they were trying to Counterspell Counterspells yeah. to their self. So like, I would try to Counterspell someone trying to Counterspell me, but I was yeah. already casting a spell. Okay. Yeah, that, that. Yeah, you can use reaction whenever. It's, it's, it's probably because it's, it's very, it's probably because it's very rare for something to cause something to trigger a reaction on your turn because oh, yeah, yeah. it's your yeah, turn. Yeah. You're the one doing the triggering. So I will say, uh, low, you will get thirty foot as well. And I saw you, King. Yes, that's all good. Serenus, you can also still move if you would like to. Don't forget. You mean I can move right now? Yeah, right now. You as, move your 30 foot. as your reaction. Thirty foot in any direction. Yes, you. But that means your reaction is gone. But realistically, nothing's around you to prompt it. So. I'm just gonna because people have been heading north. I'm gonna move up to. You see a bunch of people, and you're like peer pressure, and you just run. Yeah, I'm just gonna move to the middle of this field. Okay, Lo, you have 30 feet as well to go, and you were going to blast Eldritch Blast into the Ogre. Still going to do? Um, well, I was going to blast Eldritch Blast at the Ogre be before I knew that I could move 30 feet. Well, now you can move I to there, so who are you aiming at? What are so you doing? I'm, I'm actually dismissing the Eldritch Blast now. And okay, I'm you actually... put the finger guns away. What do you do? Um, I'm going to... Um, I believe I have the action, so I'm going to cast Shatter there. What's the radius on Shatter? Uh, ten foot. Okay, ten foot radius. Yes. There's a range of 60 feet and a radius of ten foot. You can probably position it in such a way to not kill with it. Unless you It'll want hit it. the giant no matter what. Seeing as Witty is made of metal, that might be dangerous. Oh. Right, that's these then. Giants looking really rough. Sorry, folks, I didn't think that 100% through. It's okay. You don't have to do it. Uh, I'll go back to the Elder Blast then. Sorry about that. No, you do you. Don't it's you all worry. good. I'm just letting you know what you will and will not hit. Okay. Still uh, aiming at the Ogre with the blasts? Still aiming at the Ogre with the blasts then. Fire your shots. Wind. That hits. That hits. Two shots. Very nice. And roll your other damage as well. You just watch as Low slides, runs from where he was, slides on his knees as just like this aura of arcane fey energy just erupts out and as it does Serenus Rockstar Slide Cheers. not Rockstar Slides that inspires <laughs> Serenus Wittick and Renara to move and each one of you get to bolt forward as he literally slides into a like weird L shape past Kika as he does he slides <laughs> right up next to the dwarves pulls out the equivalent of finger guns as he's sliding and blasts out towards the hill giant Dropping the hill giant, or the, the ogre, excuse me, not the hill giant, the ogre. I'm very used to guys killing hill giants. And drops the ogre dead. Haha, <laughs> 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 magic mango bra. <laughs> oh my god, okay. You just see the shield dwarf next to you goes, I like your funny moves, magic man. 
<laughs> Kika, it's your turn. I got the moves, like jacket. I got the. Okay. From where from where I was, can I? Well, I suppose I can see some people starting to move north now. Kika yes, and you Nara can. Have both gone that way, so I, I will uh, fly again, just just skirting the ground because I'm very nervous about flying high because things are going being thrown through the air. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are hill giant or there are ogres that have been used as projectiles and goblins too. So just skirting the ground, I'm gonna go over there and uh, just to be safe and also because I have not done it yet, I am going to use my action to activate blink. Okay, you cast blink on yourself. Character sheet is being very slow. <laughs> I think all twenty is having a bit of a fit today. Oh, there we go. They were doing updates earlier. Ah. Okay. Yeah, so, the, uh, roll a d20. Poof! Okay, so that means you have poofed. Hello, ethereal yes. plane! You just go, hey, watch this! As everyone around you look curious, you just go... <laughs> Little puff of stardust. Psst. Yeah. Literally like someone just glitter bombed where you were. <laughs> Wait, it's your turn. I'm going to lay a hands myself. <laughs> Can't imagine why. No, no reason at all. Uh, so that is that. And then uh, Garm's gonna bite this man in front of him again. <laughs> oh. Uh, with advantage, because fact tactics. Yay. Does an 18 love... hit? Yep. I love that we all independently like looked over to where Widdick was, saw how much shit was over there, and we were like, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> He is still standing. He's well, none of us could get there for like none of us could get there for like three turns. So. Um. He is still standing, but you have healed yourself. How much are you healing for laying hands? Oh, I, I used all of it. I used all. <laughs> you just went oh. junk. Oh. Okay. I've used it. I've used it all. Okay. How much have you used? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh. So that's his action. That's my action. Then I have a bonus, bonus action. action. I will do nothing else. Okay. The bandits are going to Reloading these light crossbows they have. Two are going to shoot at the ca or ca half orc captain, and another one is going to shoot towards. The other two are going to shoot towards you. So oh, shit, should have gotten your couch. Uh, now my AC is seven. Yeah, your AC. Back. AC is back to seventeen. So band in. <laughs> Miss, miss, and now it's against the orc. Miss and miss. Ding, 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 ding. They're shooting at the heavily armored boys. Ding, 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 ding. But they are not getting close, because fuck that. <laughs> the berserkers that are left, one is going to swing again at you recklessly, and the other one is going to try and kill the hill giant. Both of which are swinging recklessly for advantage. First on you. That's a hit on you, Wittick. For 14 uh, what, points. What is it specifically? I'm not telling you. Four. Uh, I don't have to tell you. I know. <laughs> you take 14 points of slashing damage. I've learned my lesson from the last campaign with Varys going, Oh, you just made it, so I'll just use more shields. <laughs> it's like, I'm not telling you now, motherfuckers. Yeah. Guess. Strictly, you better use it before you know if it hits or not. Yeah. But yeah. it's difficult on roll 20 because it's like. I'll yeah, roll and well, I'll well, know. Well, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the other guy is going to swing at the hill giant. Hill giant's looking Oh, no, it's, bad. it's whenever you are hit with a... Uh, yeah. Whenever you're targeted by an attack. Nope. Which you take... One reaction which you take when you are hit by an attack totally. or targeted by the magic missile spell. That's fair. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, but when you're targeted it. by yeah, yeah, yeah. magic missile... As yeah, you guys are discussing the semantics of it, you just hear this roar from behind you as the hill giant is just struggling against this guy. He throws out the hill giant's hands, picks up the great axe, 
strikes the giant's knee and it just collapses down as he just hacks his way up the side before sinking the axe straight into the hill giant's skull. And the hill giant is dead. Oh. Whoopsie. Chunk! Down dead. Did you want to run over with River 5, be my guest? But he is dead. That axe is in his skull. And now it's the ogre's turns. This ogre is going to shove past all the tiny stupid men. And he is just going to, using a bonus action to gut charge, he's going to swing at the captain with a big old gut first attack. Which basically just means he gets to do the charger effect on one strike. And that is a natural one. The one that's swinging I'm at gonna Wittick. hit you! No, I'm not. <laughs> the one at Wittick uh, does not have advantage, so that crit doesn't come into play, but it still hits for 10. Okay. You take 10 points instead of 21. So, you take 10 points from him, and now because it didn't move him first, now he's going to move and stand over the remains of his brother. Actually, scoot over there. Dead man. There we go. Stupid, <laughs> stupid buddy. Get out of the way. You're not my birdie, buddy. And the goblins are going to be hooked. The last two goblins they have, who are bound and gagged, might I say, with strapped helmets on. Oh, Very okay. involuntarily projectiles here. Now that that's not there, they're just going to launch into the town at anyone. And these two don't have helmets, so they're just going to be launched. They just fire out towards the clumps of people, and as they just begin coming down, that dwarf just like takes out the steam rifle again and just tick, tick, and aims up and pew, pew, and a viscera like as the steam goes up, everything to bone is just blown off of the fucking bodies like some meat that's been slowly cooked over fucking hours just tick, tick, and it just splatters onto the ground. It's a fucking mess in the courtyard. There was crimson everywhere, but the projectiles are disabled. And you see the dwarf go, Rex. Serenus. Right. Uh, the group up here. Just, uh, just a bit of clarification on them. It's well, they, they they were they, they were ordered to go up there by the uh, person with the glasses on, who genuine and they're all just like I don't know what's going on. Meanwhile, she's just like just go up the bridge, up the ra <sighs> and they're just like I don't know the fuck you're telling us to go away because they don't see anything. They're just like what? They're just very confused goblins. Even more confusing in about three seconds when, uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cast lightning there then and catch them off guard. You mean the allies? Oh. Uh, I the we can't see can't the thing happen. we're looking for. There's something yeah. Neither visible. can they. Wrong spot then. Hold on. Yeah, you, just you were about to blow up a group of allies. I'm like, what's your alignment? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's more just like, ah, oh, right. I misunderstood this. This whole because right. that's what I thought as well. I was like, it's it's more of oh, the yeah, I saw it. Yeah, no. it said red. I was like, oh, okay, and then I was like, hmm, noted. Uh, then, right. Uh, I'm going to instead. Dead. Okay, then clarification. These are not good people, then. Yes, but they're also so far away, you definitely don't see them. Technically, you could hit it. You can't fucking see them. Between everything that's between you and them, you don't have a vantage point to see down at them. If you were at an elevated point, I'd say yes. But between the people, the creatures, the bodies, you can't see yeah. all the way past the guard towers to them. Well then, can, I'll can hit. Can you see the ogres? I'll Definitely hit. see the ogres. The ogres are obvious. Yeah. 
I'll hit uh, the same spot I hit last time and try and get this ogre and see if I can. Okay, kill you it hit that one right. ogre. This ogre's got moves like Jagger. Uh, six points of damage because, well, he succeeded. <laughs> These ogres don't like lightning. They're just fucking happy feeding it. Do you move as well? Yes, yeah. I'm going to move 30 in front of me. Okay. Let's see if I can get into it because I'm a bit too far away. That is a locked house, so you can't go there. He's called lightning a bonus action or an action? Bonus action. Okay. Yeah, it's bonus an action, action to, to catch reuse it. First. it. Yeah, bonus action yeah. to reuse it. Action to call it first. Yeah. But there's nothing I can really use my action on right now, so I'm just kind of. Yeah. You know, trying to no, spells like myself, yeah. You can so. you can dash. Yeah. True, but uh, for right really now, dodge. I'm, or dodge. I'm in quite a good spot for stuff right now, so I think I should probably end my turn right there and uh, see if I can just kind of get a... Okay, King! The same area that was just hit by lightning. Ooh, that hits. Still standing. But this time you just extend out forward and you just grab it at the lower jaw and that hand which was before like searing fingers pressing in now just try to, tries to rip at the jaw. Okay, and now and doing it immediately as well you can take the dash action on a bonus action for 10 minutes. Yep, because it's a bonus action spell and a cantrip so I'm allowed to cast both of them. You are indeed. You just slap him and go nip nip. It's not the case of fast-paced running, in more case of you just glide across the ground, almost like your feet aren't touching it, as just whoop, straight up and past. And you just kind of hover and swing and sway right past the uh, gunslinger as you go. Runara. I, I, I do call that on my way past, uh, what's in the tower? It's on the bridge! It's at the top of the bridge! Renara. Yo, sorry, I was too busy stress tea drinking. Um, <laughs> Mood. Streeting. What? The hill giant bleeding out or dead? That axe is in his skull. He fucking dead. And every enemy that I can see is in front of the cannon in, yes. in Wittick's general area. In Wittick's <laughs> field of view. And he CK's brain putting things together do, in real do, time. That's the music for when nothing's happening. <laughs> K's brain is very full at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the only ally in front of this cannon is dead, and that there are plenty of uh, enemies in front of this cannon, yes? <laughs> this one looks at there. Um... We've got bonus action to third level healing word with it. Okay. It's 14. Wait, if you get healed for 14, use my action. Sacred Flame. The ogre. Nice tech save for the ogre. Why is that a range? That's what 60 feet means. And he fails. Roll the damage. Check some. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's right. Eight points of damage. Is that your turn, my good lady? Yes. Okay. She is going to run up to here. And she's going to frantically take shots again. One. She does hit. Let's see if she breaks its stealth. Concentrating. Huh. She actually pulls it off. 
you watch she's firing out again at something you can't see, but her glasses are focused, and as it shoots into the back, you just hear, Gah! and on the top of the bridge, just like holding up against the side of the wall, you can see this ogre-sized creature, but its skin underneath this big, heavy cloak is a deep blue color as it leans back, looking towards you with red stained teeth and yellow eyes is an oni oh no these fuckers I had a feeling it's an oni and she's going to shoot the motherfucker again natural 20 yes. <laughs> nice. nice I was like wait no I have a roll well no actually that's a 20 so let's just go with that 5 2 plus 4 2 11. Oh, and mu it. much like Mystery Skulls, where it just gets shot in the face and it's like, can you not? <laughs> and you just watch as those bullet holes begin slowly healing on the Oni. Nemo, you need to slap that one. <laughs> as its turn comes up, it just waves out its hand. Just waves it oh. behind you all in annoyance as it just begins moving away. Are you close enough to it? What's the range encounter spell? Uh, 60 I might not be actually. Nope, that's 120. Is the range 160 <laughs> or 120? It's 60. No, it's just 60. Okay. So. Just a moment there, because I have to get up there. Sheet. This shit. No, I don't want the Opni. Give me the Oni. The Opni is something you have when you have a gangly knee. Oh, wait, is that bridge actually down or? Uh, that bridge is just like a permanent thing that's down, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's going to do that. So you draw shapes. Uh, hold all for a circle. And cast a sphere of darkness right here. It's going to continue moving its way in. Asshole. Yeah, it's like, nah. At the end of her turn, the dwarf is just going to run up, taking out that cog hammer, and just looks the side of the cannon and strikes at it. And you can just hear. And, uh. Would you like the good news, Wittick? You don't have to make a save. Could you dead? No, no, you're fine. But everything in a direct line in front of this creature must. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not rolling for the bandits. They're dead. <laughs> Unfortunate. Have how, a good day. How, I was going to say, how far is the actual line? <laughs> Would you like to know how far an arcane cannon can go? Yes, actually. 300 sure. foot. Oh, okay. 300 foot, 5 foot wide. So there's just, there's just, a, there's just a merchant coming towards town. Oh, fuck. It's good to obliterate it. I can't wait to make more living in car. I've got so much, so many furs and leather to sell. Oh. Ah uh, no no no! What actually? What actually happens is he's moving oh, along. Oh, cabbage My cabbages! My cabbages! Yeah, 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 the, the entire back thing goes off with his cabbages. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just picturing these. I'm just picturing these um these these ones that are on the bridge right now running in like we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, and they're just these flash of light. It's finally like, our day, boys. Oh. <laughs> Our uh, wives won't have to go hungry anymore. We'll make our living for a... No, <gasps> don't make them have a family. <laughs> I'll get to retire <laughs> tomorrow, guys. It's my final mission. I'll get to retire after this. <laughs> oh, that poor ogre. Retirement. That poor <laughs> ogre rolled a natural one. Oh, buddy. Uh, I was actually thinking of it, and I was like, what if it was like, oh, there's a little... There happened to be a pothole in the server, so he goes off a little bit to the side, and it just grabs the Jeez. fucking cart. That's it. It's just like he just notices this go. Uh, and that's shit. how that man became a paladin. Stop <laughs> <laughs> like praying to a god. The dwarf just strikes that ha the side of it with frustration. It just begins wheeling up, 
as just begins erupting out this blast of fire. And one ogre is left standing, and one ogre with the how with the hucker is left standing after the blast. Everything else in that line got fucked. Jesus. Posey. <laughs> I'm he, part of this. Dead, uh, uh, would it, you like a gun? Uh, Are both the ogres alive, or one ogre is still alive somehow? I have this I, heard I, a two great missing. One ogre with two a hucker, and one ogre, one ogre without a hucker is still alive. Posey, you're up yeah, next. Yeah, there are still two ogres. Yeah. Yes, I know, but only I'm counting the guys who are in the blast of fire. Only one, okay. of, only the two Sorry. that are in, three of the two. Two of the three that were in that blast were still standing. The one that's at the front doesn't have a midsection. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I just heard a great many things and saw none of them. <laughs> I saw I saw the back of the cannon, not what happened in front of it. Yeah. Um, I can hear shit going down up north. You could have actually seen it see if you it. were... Originally you were looking, so I would have said you would have been able to see like a blue figure apparate yeah. out and, and then, then throw out a big ball double. of darkness and i would have said well, with your experience make an arcana I've seen check. an oni before yeah we'll see if you've seen an oni before or even if i've heard of oni like <laughs> careful of Shit, ogre size <laughs> spell it's not the thing i get there. advantage on uh yeah. can oh, yeah, yes i think i'm not my thing's not to do with giants no, it's a giant kid. You are aware only are nasty bastards that you definitely will have to be thorough with. Okay. Make like, sure is that it bitch keeping is dead. it dead? Make yeah. sure that bitch is dead. Okay. And common in magic. the area? Not common in this area. They're very rare. Serenus? Uh, I... You well, saw that. Make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, hold on. <laughs> It's fine, it's not my- do I have to have only related baggage two games in a row? No. <laughs> Thank god. In fairness, you, you had very Serenus brief instead. only baggage. So you I had a very brief only related baggage. I can't, I can't, unknowingly, I gave it to Serenus. <laughs> Serenus, you can see that creature in that distance, and all of a sudden, its face is just around you all at once. There's that childhood memory that strikes very deep into your stomach. What does the resolve mean? strengthens. It's not the creature. It's the same breed, it's the same monster, it's those eyes, those horrible yellow eyes, but you hold strong, you are not frightened. I was going to say if it was going to be, if it's a charm, because... Nope. Okay, nope. It's if incredible. you were charmed, no, that would be bad news for it's everyone. backstory, you know, motherfucker. <laughs> and saving yeah, charm. welcome to backstory wisdom checks. Quintessential D&D experience. <laughs> hey, uh, your trauma's here. Yeah, I'm going to run up to here. That's nice. Um, and just be like, Saren, is she coming? <laughs> um, you can definitely see a moment of Saren's face of, uh, yeah. uh, but Saren, you're good, just, you're good, buddy. I can, so I can just see an orb of, of blackness darkness. coming over the edge of the wall. Yes. And Would I you like to fire really, into the darkness? I could blind fire into it. I don't, can I, is it like, how tall is this wall? Is this like, uh, the perimeter? wall about 10 foot tall. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to see it. No. So... It does go up, like, say, so if you've got the ground you're on here, and the wall's about there, the, the whole slant of it goes up to about... Mm-hmm. Oh, it's like at an angle going up. Yeah, forever. so you definitely see the creature. You would have seen it as it went, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you would see I it as elevator it. point. I'm just going to check the wording on something. <laughs> on something! Some reason I didn't when I... know you were another bard. For some reason, when Not you yet. said, am I, am I okay? The first thing that came to my mind was, I feel like I'm going to start rambling like a um, Abe Simpson from the Simpsons movie. We did in the oh, church. God. Just go, beware. Epa! Epa! Oni! Oni! <laughs> you could start going to be in range. It's not going to be in range. Okay, that's fine. Stupid sexy Serenus. I will. No. <laughs> I'm checking ranges. I'm checking my ranges. The bomb barrel. Sorry, checking ranges on things. I will 
blind fire two Eldritch Blasts, or uh, however many Eldritch okay. Blasts I get. You are firing with disadvantage, with it'll be two Eldritch Blasts, you are firing at disadvantage. Cool. That's fine, just to see if I can hit anything. Oops. You are blessed though. I am, yeah. Hang on, let me roll the disadvantage on that one. Is it a d4? Uh -huh. d4. It won't matter, but I'll roll That is a way. miss on both of them. Probably not with an only. Last, well, that's, the that's first the one with disadvantage. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that first one? Nah. Yeah. But a four is not going to help it. So fire with disadvantage for the second oh, one. Oh, come on. Nah. That's fine. As long as it's like, I'm firing a light into it. And I, I'll just make eye contact with other people going this way. And you're just aiming the crossbow as you're looking at anyone who's making their way up, and you're aiming and firing in the vicinity of the black cloud, just like, that way, that way. Yeah, yeah try not to waste my crossbow bolts. And that's yeah, all you're I can firing hit. off Eldritch crossbows. Pew, pew, pew. Still can't transform a hex because I can't see it, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't, it's not in range. Carry on. Hello, it's your go. What do you do? Um. Ooh. I know what I want to do, but would Lo know? What do you want to do? I want to shoot the other ogre. <laughs> and shoot the other ogre! <laughs> Save the half boy, half orc! Okay, uh. Very important, someone has to. <laughs> Somebody's gotta do it! So it might as well be low. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to move to shoot the ogre, though. You've got a pal. You got a big paladin on top of a big wolf, and you between you and it. Yeah, fair enough. Um, hey, low, move in front of that cannon. <laughs> Twitter has marked this as bait. <laughs> I was tempted for, for him to have a portable cannon he has on his head, so he literally has a head cannon. <laughs> but let's be real, I would have had to made it a lot weaker. Are you receiving me over? Hello? We're receiving you over. Take the shot! Take the shot! Hello, honey. There we go. And those are hits. Roll your damage. Oh, she's dropped. Oh, she refuses dead. to roll damage. To whoever's got their roll twenty volume on, because they're adding to this. Yo, that's He's fucking me. I have my game <laughs> sound coming out my speakers, so that's probably me. Lo, you lean past the body of the other ogre as you move up and just fire out with just like almost like from the center of palm blast out once, twice. The first one takes the ogre almost entirely down, and then it looks up at you and just straight up against the front of the skull. The skull gets caved in as it gets its whole neck. Chunks down and just turns like this, but that means he's got no neck, so he did and just collapses. Hate to break it to you kids, but uh, there's a morale check going on in a second, and these boys aren't looking good. Kika, my darling, it's your turn. What do you do? <laughs> that's fair. That's, free, that's a free action, though. Okay, so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use my movement to keep going north because until you get psychic scream, that's a free action. <laughs> I'm gonna continue going north because I want to be able to give King a little bit of backup. Uh, and from my angle, I don't know that Posey's there, so I'm like, King shouldn't be on their own because that way lies disaster. So uh, I'm gonna go over there, and I guess... on my own with the uh, gun, <laughs> the gun wielder, the four goblins, and the two war riders. And two a partridge in a pantry. <laughs> <laughs> We all reach for the same joke. <laughs> uh, 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 remind me of the goblins and the uh, wargs. Uh, aggressive. They're very they confused. They're just confused, yeah. 
Okay. They're they're actually actually friends. Heckin', heckin okay. They're actually our friends. Heckin' bamboozled. They were heckin' bamboozled. They saw a noni and they all went, ah! okay, in which then case, it disappeared I will... and they went, oh! In which case I will simply use my action to dash and get over there so I am closer. Okay. You flutter over everyone and back down to the ground. And they look at you and go, <laughs> And I go, <laughs> And yeah, that's my turn. We can make noises at each other later, Blue. It's fine. Is that oh. your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. Okay. Wedek! That fucking barbarian is still alive! <laughs> okay. Um, 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 In fact, um, both um. of them are still alive. Yeah, I know. Get we really it. just left you with a bunch of them was like, have yeah. fun, kid. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Um, no, in they left you with a candy. We'll be in the cafeteria. Let us know if you need help. <laughs> it's meatloaf day. He's fine. <laughs> I He's him. having the fun. He's in front of me. Pit. He's I old enough my... to supervise himself. <laughs> I did my clever job and he's, he's got yeah. hit points. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Justin. Uh... <laughs> but, but, the one in front of me. Do I have advantage on him? Yes. As with the... Okay. He, you definitely have advantage because he's been recklessly attacking. The other one has been recklessly attacking, so also there is advantage in that situation. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. Okay. So. Would you uh, like to great... bonk? I would like to greatsword this one, yes. Okay. Just 25. Yes. Okay. Good. Absolutely. Still Please alive. Tell me that... Fuck! <laughs> Continue to bonk. Oh. Alright, Garm's gonna bite him. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I know your strength modifier, it's fucking dead. Yeah. Good. Good. You just like stab down at it and cut at the greatsword arm as that falls away, and for that moment it looks towards and Garm just goes, oh. and its head's gone. <laughs> just And you just hear like gears and grinders moving inside its jaw, and there's a sound of metal between gears which or meat between gears which really should never exist, and well that's messy sounding. Yeah, if someone never. If someone doesn't mind about eating humans, they certainly have. Um, how would you say, mince for later, and that gets taken out of him eventually. But you still have one more attack. Here, as gore is just like dripping down from these metal fanged on the wolf, as you just like stride over the ogre and everything else, just like right, fucker. With the wolf, big old sword. Was a good friend of mine. You're dead. Say hello to my little friend. Hello. <laughs> Retract that statement, my big friend. <laughs> hello. There's an eleven. Hit. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now look at the beat, baby. Whoa. Whoa. Unfortunately, that <laughs> is a miss, man. I figured. Sorry. The rolls were so good. The bandits are going to fucking run. Good. They are not paid enough for this. They are leaving as fast as they can. Get the berserker that's next to you is going to swing at you recklessly because, well, he ain't running away from all this. And he rolls and he does hit. So you will take nine punts at the slasher. Okay. The other ogres are fucking dead. And the ogres with the howdas reach for their clubs. Look at the fact one who nearly got blown in half and just go, nah. <laughs> that cannon showed up and they just went, nah. <laughs> we ain't paid for that. <laughs> Fuck that. <coughs> they getting paid for that? <laughs> I don't, I don't know that an Oni can pay. You guys are getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> they were being paid. Very lucky. It was I'm very lucky that we're not trying to kick ass out of this game. <laughs> Drink water if you dare, bitch. <laughs> right, I'm gonna. What is happening to me today? I'm gonna. Uh, I'm Whatever going you're doing, to... it's beautiful. We love you. Caffeine I'm going to move, the then answer. dash uh, up to here. Okay. So yeah, 30 to there, then I'll... Hang on, girls. Is that caffeine having there, not had caffeine there. for as long as you have? Shh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, <laughs> explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you get to there, yeah. And you have your bonus action still. I, 
honestly see nothing to really lightning strike right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to see the person up here. You don't know So because... no, there's nothing going to really okay. lightning strike right now. So I just kind of end my turn there. There's nothing much okay. I can really do. King. All right, I'm going to ask uh, our gun wielding friend, uh, what does what does it want with the tower? The ruler's in there, probably. I don't know. And just just look bamboozled. It's like, I don't fucking know. It's just running up there, and it probably with them. All right. I'm going to take a uh, guess by the fact it killed the two people that were at the fucking front of it. That it's probably going up there to attack her. Action bonus action to dash. No, not action. No. Movement and bonus action to dash. You have your action still. Um. So this bridge is broken. No, it's it's not broken. It's just I okay. have a, just a, a map. A, a, okay. Yeah, this is just the map. Uh, now, I'm about to blind fire towards where I think the only is. This will be at disadvantage uh, tell me, then. Yeah, I, I figured. Um, tell me, does that work with Chill Touch, or do I actually have to see with Chill Touch, or do, would I have to use Ray of Frost if I'm going to blind fire? It's an fire? attack roll. Um, it's a fair point with Chill Touch. I think it says it aims at a creature. Yeah, it, it's... One Elders of those things Blast is just like a, you know, aim in the general vicinity. Yeah, and yeah, so and a creature I've got Ray with of Frost rays. Yeah, no, um, I'm going to say you'd have to use like a Ray of Frost, and it'll be at disadvantage. Just let me check the range on Ray of Frost, because we might save ourselves some trouble. I believe uh, it's 60 feet. 60 foot? Yeah, it's only 60 you, foot, it's not going to make you it. Don't know, you don't know that you don't hit? You can't That's see. Yeah, I don't know, see, but see. I do. Yeah, I imagine it doesn't, so you probably don't want me to roll. Blast, you, I'm just going to say for the sake of then that you use your action, you blast out a Ray of Frost. Yep, because I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Runara, my darling, what are you doing? Uh, I think by the gate is dead, right? Dead or running? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Action to dash to there. Okay, you start running away. Wix still being mauled. Uh, do I want to use my bonus action? What's my distance? That's his element. He, that's, that's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> yes. True. It's Correct, correct setting. Winnick, are you sure you shouldn't mold the glass into Barbarian just for that fucking rage? Because currently you just get keep getting left alone and getting the shit kicked out of you. So the one near me look hot? Nah, they all look good. Well, there's two people who are very, very much so frozen and shattered, but they're fine. But like, but like, well, they're, they're not fine, but, but, you know, you're not helping them. Gun Elf looks fine. Gun Elf is fine. Because fun. Paladin, Storm, Sorcerer, Barbarian. Barbarian. <laughs> Sounds nice. At this point, why not? Sounds pretty You're nice. an angry boy. Just, you know, forego your armor. Yeah, I can't do that. Well, no. thing. You can what? almost say he's witticked off. Hey! Hey! <laughs> You're the bard, you get away with it. <laughs> I'm tickling the shit out of you next time I see you for that one. <laughs> oh, I swear, if King comes in with another joke now, I'm gonna just yeet off the bridge. <laughs> like that freaking golfing vibe. Just. <laughs> that's, that's everything. That's everything you got? Yeah. Okay, she can't see, so she is just going to take shots. I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's disadvantage, even though. Yeah, so let's see. One. No. Nah. I should have rolled with. Them. Ah, well, there's one, and the second one with advantage. Babushka. <laughs> this oni is going to wow. kill this fucking gunslinger. This oni is going to kill this gunslinger. Yes, come back this way. Just fires out again, Tink! and just looks back for a brief bit. Cracks its knuckles with this frustrated look. You're next. I'll bear it back. My piggy's up. I gotta give him his meds. And you see, like, it's almost entirely healed back up as it points out and disappears. Mm, bastard. Mm. Shit, uh, that's, that's one thing. Did 
they might say my piggy is up. His guinea pig, yeah, correct, guinea yes. Pig. Oh, okay, I thought, I, I thought like a pig. I was like, what? <laughs> no, no, his guinea Would you question it? Would you seriously doubt it? I mean... <laughs> I mean, I know, I know he was a dedicated moon pig, but... I mean, I, I, I do actually have a friend in IRL that does actually have a... Uh, that older, ogre pig. with the hooker has to make a con save as a ball of frost energy gets yeeted at it. That can go up to 1,200 foot, and that was 4010, I think. They ran away in a straight line from the cannon. Guess what happened? Actually, no, you know what? Yeah, it's actually going to make him make a uh, flame shot still. So he does succeed, but it's still 60-10. Behold my intelligence. I could have used the shape tool to draw the grids, but I did not. <laughs> mm, that's dead. the second time someone's drawn that bridge in. Yeah, it's me the I first commend time. commend you for but, your work. But I figured the darkness was there, so I'll wait for the darkness okay. to go. That's her go. That's his go to just fire the cannon again. Posey! Well, this motherfucker disappeared again. Yep, it's almost like it's something they can do at will. Yeah. Well, well they need to that. stop that. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna. How about uh, near? How about near? Nah, please get some help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just realized. I've just you realize, of course, that was said perfectly this. in character. Stop. Of course. Get some help. Get some help. You just hear the Oni in the distance. How about you? <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant to do. Not that, guys. Oh, what's happened? Oh, oh no, wow. what are you doing? <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Just, just carry on. <laughs> Stop it. I still Stop didn't it. write Stop this it. shit down. Oh, I'm such a piece of shit. Don't put you on the clock, King Lady. Come on. What is a reload? Stop is it a bonus Stop. action or an action? Uh... It is an action. It We've is an done attack. this before. You can use an attack to reload. Thank you. Um, then I will do that as I'm walking up next to <laughs> Elf with Gun. Elf with Gun, Michelin. <laughs> <laughs> I really think Elf we should consider gun. Hyena with Gun. Um, <laughs> Elf with Gun. Elf with uh, Gun. <laughs> just no be like, going to a town near you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to very like casually with not as much seriousness as maybe the situation requires. Just go, it's an Oni, so it's going to be invisible a lot. <laughs> then I'm going to shoot <laughs> and see what happens. Just one shot, because I've reloaded with one. Just need you to walk up to the... Fire it like, with disadvantage, but take a shot. Walking up, reloading that as like a pistol, and then you turn to the left, and they're just like clocking in, like, like a reloading to a machine gun. Just a ch -ch -ch, it's like, <laughs> well... <laughs> Oni. <laughs> Shrugs. Uh, I'll shut you because I've got nothing to lose. Roll with disadvantage anyway. Oh, I need to remember to disadvantage. That. So. I'll add a default to that because I can. That misses. Just fifteen. <laughs> and you have Just a moment of excitement. It goes. No, that was a goblin. Whoops. Get it next time. And I'll crash them. There's just a very upset goblin at the top of the bridge going, It hit the boat! It hit the boat! You'll be fine. Ah. <laughs> no, it's your go. What do you do? There's, There's one berserker one. left. One berserker left? Okay. Finish it. Do I Finish have to make... Yeah. I'm, I'm not even asking that. Shoot! <laughs> Fucking shoot, honey. Shoot, yeah. <laughs> shoot him! Shoot him! You Because the faster this man dies... You missed. She blessed. He's blessed. Roll They're D4s. Blessed. So roll your D4s. Well, That's your blessed. second one does hit. Your first one now hits, so roll your damage. Just a consistent gout of damage out of you. So she just confirmed for me, um, um, Lowe's pronouns. Sorry. Um, he is a he. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. I totally confirmed. So sorry. sorry. There's a few, there's I'm, a few I'm, people. It's a tiefling. You have to check. There's a, there's a few people <laughs> playing characters with different pronouns to themselves, so sometimes yeah. it's confused. Yeah. It's just Renara yeah. from the distance looking at Lowe. Damn, your ass so thick. What's your pronouns? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was in character. <laughs> 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 Keep going. 
Cake up! Cake up! What is the unplugged what the one's hell? pronouns? <laughs> I, uh, uh, give you a party <laughs> I'm taking it. Oh, I like your funny words, Blue Bad. <laughs> we should go swimming in my right, so swimming pool. <laughs> Ah, we found the melting point. <laughs> it was probably a matter of time we found the. Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, we was all in that that chaos energy today. Kill me. How's it going, Blue? <laughs> Blue, what's your go? Uh, I guess I'll I'll come forward and I'll. Do what everyone else has been doing, and just you don't see anyone. Yeah, fire, fire off to. <laughs> you, you heard me go without context, Oni. Yeah. <laughs> just means nothing. Cause it's Oni, it's going to be disappearing a lot. Just because it's what everyone's doing, I'm just going to be fire two eldritch blasts in that direction to see if I get anything. Advantage. We're all just Miss. wrecking the shit out of this gatehouse. <laughs> you fire out your shot and you hit nothing. The Oni is no longer within the peripheral of the area you may have aimed at. Fair. Widdick. This motherfucker. <sighs> I, I have advantage, yeah? Yes, still flying. It's still reckless. That's a fucking hit. That is a head that is still standing. I'm still standing. That's a hit. Still standing. Is that everything you're doing? Hop. Oh. Fucking dagger does do good damage. Do good do damage. My brain do good work. Yeah. And it doesn't get knocked prone. Fuck. Uh, let's see. The bandits are gone. Ogres are gone. Berserker is left. Widdick, it, as it's like lifting up its thing to try to stab towards you, its great axe, you can just see for a moment it's just like running in from the side, just punches, like literally punches the axe out of its trajectory and just are stabbing up towards him with the billy hook he's got. That orc, that, that half-orc captain that was there, but he's like, get up to the tower! And just like, just more or less barges himself in, keeping this guy's attention. Go! If you wanted to use your movement, you could. Okay, okay. You can move okay. 50 foot. We'll do uh, one of these. As unprovoked, you get to use a bonus based on his combat skills. He doesn't have many, Hello, but. Oh, would you like a ride? No, I get to ride the dog. <laughs> yes. No, I would get you like to a ride? ride the dog. <laughs> cool. Lowe just jumps on and he's bouncing and up and down. Like, like... 30 feet. <laughs> ping, ping me the area and I'll move all of you together. Uh, let's see, it's uh, 30. Right, I Blue's, don't have my black anymore. I think it was 20 to go from here. Yeah, yep. I'll say about 20, yeah. Blue's currently getting triggered the with the wolf or the dog. I don't have the bless anymore. I need to remove the bless. There. Okay. So, yeah, 30 <laughs> Psychic damage after all these years. <laughs> <laughs> when people talk about pronouns, everybody gets up at Ebo, you start just correcting people on your species, and you're the bad guy! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing oh. bad ever happens to loyalty! Ah! Ah! <laughs> loyalty and Whittick on the back of crime! Nothing bad ever happens to the loyalty! Ah! <laughs> God damn it. All right, that's you guys' turn. Serenus, my good man. People are blasting at things that don't seem to be there. What do you do, sir? 
honestly, I don't, it, I don't. I don't think I can see anything either. None of us really know what we're doing. None of us can see anything. The emperor has no clothes. We can't. We're, we're shooting at nothing, and we don't pretend to know what we're shooting. At. I just thought of Sildar with nothing on. It's like, oh, buddy, you're like in your late sixties. Don't <laughs> nope. late late seventies. Delete don't do that. Delete that, please. <laughs> it's like a muscular Mr. Burns. <laughs> well, delete I'm that move, more so. <laughs> I'm gonna move closer um, ahead. Just by thirty, so I'm like further ahead now, um, and just straight down, I guess, just here, and see what happens. Where are you aiming? Okay, you launch it down and just blast a portion of the courtyard. As you guys get ready, moving yourselves up towards the inner keep, you can already hear the sounds of conflict and combat from within the keep. The Oni's in there, and wreaking havoc. I'm back for now. And that's where we're going to end the session. Oh. <laughs> because there's going to be a whole map next session with an Oni in it. Ooh, fun, fun, So fun. you guys get to have that fun, but that'll be like, for next week. Deck nap it. See you next Catch time. Catch the Oni, catch Yay. the Oni, catch the Oni now.